The directions say to determine whether the sequence is increasing, decreasing, or not monotonic, so neither increasing or decreasing. Is the sequence bounded? In example one, we want to look at the sequence where the nth term is defined by a sub n is 1 minus n over 2 plus n. And so we're going to apply a calc 1 technique to determine whether this sequence is increasing or decreasing. So we're going to let f of x equal 1 minus x over 2 plus x. Take the derivative. So applying the quotient rule, f prime of x is equal to 2 plus x times negative 1 minus quantity 1 minus x times 1 all divided by 2 plus x quantity squared. If I simplify this, we get f prime of x is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus x quantity squared, and that's less than 0 for x greater than or equal to 1. And so what that tells me is that f is decreasing on the interval 1 to infinity, where 1 is included. And so, therefore, we can conclude that a sub n, which is equal to 1 minus n over 2 plus n, is a decreasing sequence. Now, a sub n is bounded above by the first term of the sequence, which is a sub 1, which is 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1, which is equal to 0. It's bounded below by negative 1, right? If we let n get large... I claim a sub n is going to approach negative 1. And so, therefore, the sequence a sub n is a bounded sequence. That's how you do the first example. In the second example, example 2, we have a sub n, which is equal to 3 minus 2n e to the negative n. I'm going to employ the same strategy and I'm going to let f of x equal 3 minus 2x e to the negative x. When I look at f prime of x, I get negative 2e to the negative x times the quantity 1 minus x. Okay? Now, something to keep in mind here. e to the negative x is always going to be positive. Always. Negative 2 is always less than 0, and so we have to look at 1 minus x. So I claim f prime of x is greater than 0 for x greater than 1. Because if we plug in x equal 2, isn't 1 minus 2 negative 1? And negative 1 times negative 2 is equal to positive 2, and I'm taking positive 2 times something that's always positive. And so, therefore, that's always going to be greater than 0. So, for x greater than 1, f prime of x is greater than 0. So, f is strictly increasing on the open interval from 1 to infinity. And so, therefore, a sub n, which is equal to 3 minus 2n e to the negative n, is a strictly increasing sequence. Okay, now, uh, and this is again for n greater than 1. Now, a sub n, which is equal to 3 minus 2n e to the negative n, can be written as 3 minus 2n over e to the n. This is bounded below by essentially a sub 1. So keep in mind, a sub 1 is 3 minus... 2 times 1 times e to the negative 1, okay? And I could write this as 3 minus 2 over e. So a sub n is bounded below by 3 minus 2 over e and bounded above by 3, right? Does that make sense? Because if we look at this, right? If I take 3 minus 2n over e to the n, right? For n greater than or equal to 1, this always has to be positive. So I'm taking 3 and I'm subtracting off a positive number. That has to be smaller than 3 the whole time. 
So for n greater than 1, in fact, for n greater than or equal to 1, 3 minus 2n over e to the n is strictly less than 3. So it's bounded below by 3 minus 2 over e, it's bounded above by 3, and so we can say that this sequence is bounded. And that'll conclude this video. Okay, thank you.